TV. This is the only dedicated TV channel designed to help you dramatically improve the way you present and influence at work. My name is Michelle Bowden and it's my pleasure to be with you here today. Today we're going to talk about something that's very important. You've probably wondered from time to time, what should you do with your hands when you're presenting? Because some people say you should put them behind your back, other people say you should put them in your pocket. What should you do with your hands? So I think it's important for us all to understand that there are two types of gestures that you can do with your hands when you present. The first type is what we call informal gesturing and that's simply where you talk with your hands and they move around as you're speaking. This is a fine thing to do when you're presenting, just got to be aware that every now and again you stop and when you stop that's called cleaning the slate. Put your hands down by your side and give the audience a clean slate to have a look at. The second type of gesture is what we call formal gesturing or rehearsed gesturing. And that is indeed both formal and rehearsed. And it's characterized by two things. The first thing about a formal gesture is that you want to have your gesture nice and big with air passing underneath your armpit. And the second thing that's really, really important is that your gesture should be strong so that there's energy out through the ends of your fingertips and the audience believes that you always intended to do that gesture. So try some informal and some formal gesturing in your next presentation and I'm sure you'll be delighted with the results. Stay tuned for more episodes on how to present TV. Happy presenting!